Jim Van Fleet writes, where do you keep your RV and what does it cost to store there? Well, Jim, I'm on the outside and the outside on gravel, it's not on dirt, um, is $50 a month. They have inside storage. The last I checked, the inside storage was $125 a month, I believe, and that was uh, access to electricity also. And they do have uh, potted water there that you can uh, fill your tanks up if you need to, and there's also a dump station there. Uh, everybody has access to that, whether you're parked in or out, but you also would have access to electricity. Now, I don't know if it's 110 electricity, or if it's a 30 amp, or 50 amp, or maybe a choice of all of them. I don't know that. You'd have to call. The name of the place is um, Coverall Storage. And the reason why I'm telling you I don't know the answer to all these is because the guy that used to own Coverall Storage has uh, sold it. And the new company took over. Uh, I'm not in the, uh, the same spot that I originally picked out because the area where I was at, which were 50 feet long spots, which is what I wanted, because I had the big bus at the time. Uh, now I don't need 50 feet, but I like 50 feet. I mean, you can understand why. I just like having 50 feet. Plus it was back toward the back, not next to an outside fence or anything like that. And I could go in there and I could, um, I could work on my RV and the way I work on things, I sit there and I could watch TV for an hour and have a Coke and then I'll get up and do some work for a while and I run the generator and nobody cared, you know. And where I'm at, I can still do that, but it's not a 50 foot spot and it's a little on the end and when you're on the end people have a tendency to start parking a little bit further away from the guy next to them so by the time you get to the end I'm kind of pinched and uh, I told them about it and so when they get the uh, area done that they're remodeling back there I can go back to my original spot but boy it sure seems like it's taken them a long time to get this done so without further ado, I did a drone shot of coverall storage so you can get a good idea of what it looks like and how it's maintained and whether it fits what you're looking for. It's right off of 301, kind of halfway between 466 and where the shopping center's at and Wildwood. So without further ado, let's go to that drone shot and you can watch that right here.
see you guys on the other side.